Coinbase's new base chain is officially live. And in today's video, I'll show you how to add base to your MetaMask wallet, how to bridge to base and bridge off, and then what you can do in the ecosystem so far. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing I say in this video is financial advice. This is solely for educational purposes. Now, let's get into it. First, those of you who watch my channel regularly are probably remembering that I did another video on base a couple weeks ago. That was before there was an official bridge. You just had to send your funds to a smart contract. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the official bridge and then what you can do in the ecosystem now that it's launched. And whereas back then there was one application on base, now there are already dozens. As you can see, they made the announcement today. And if you want to start using base, the first thing you'll have to do is add it to your wallet. To do that, we're going to go over to Chainlist. Chainlist.org is generally the best place to add base to pretty much any major Ethereum wallet. And you click on connect wallet here. Once your wallet's connected, you want to search up the chain that you want to add to your wallet, in this case base, and then click on add to MetaMask. It'll bring up a pop-up over here where you'll be prompted to approve the transaction and click on approve. You can ignore that warning because that just means that it's not in metamask is database yet and then click on switch network and you are now using base so it was that simple we don't have any funds on there yet but we now have base in our wallet and if you look on here you can see that i do actually have some funds this was from my previous demo but pretend that we have a zero we're going to bridge over some fresh funds over to base so you'll switch back to eth you can see that here in your metamask by clicking on this button in the top left. That's how you change your network. We're switching back to Ethereum and we want to send over a little bit of ETH now. Uh, now. So to do that, first thing you'll do is you'll go to bridge.base.org. Those of you who watched my previous video, remember that there wasn't an actual front end for the bridge at that time. You just sent funds to a contract, but now you do have a bridge. So you click on connect wallet. You can connect Coinbase, Rainbow, Wallet Connect, or MetaMask. And in this case, we're going to connect MetaMask. Simply click on Connect Wallet, select MetaMask. It'll bring up a pop-up like this, which we will confirm. And we can see that now we have the option to bridge assets. Select that. We accept. And then here we have the options to bridge from Ethereum to base. And it's really that simple. Here you'd input the amount that you want to bridge over. In this case, I'm going to do a tiny amount, 0.001 ETH, because this is a test and I'll select deposit and you can see that it'll bring up an option to confirm the transaction. And in this case, this is about $12 of gas and this is a test wallet, so I don't have $12, uh, not to mention that that would be a waste anyways, but you would just click on confirm here if this was an amount that you actually wanted to bridge and then it would bring your funds over to base. Once the bridging is finished, it'll probably take a couple minutes. You again can select the network up here on the top left. You can scroll down, find base and move here. And then your funds will have appeared in the wallet. Again, this is from my previous video where I bridged to base. And then you're ready to start using all the wonderful things that are on base. Now, one thing that's important to note is that if you want to bridge off of base, this bridge here is great for bridging on. This is the official Coinbase bridge. However, the official bridge takes seven days to withdraw, and that's because of how optimistic rollups work. If you want to withdraw instantly, you'll have to use a third-party bridge. Now, my preferred bridge is Synapse. I find that they're very reliable. They've been around for a while. They have access to a ton of chains. So I personally would use Synapse to bridge off. However, there are other options as well. And so now that you're on base, you're ready to start doing some of the fun things that are on here. First thing that you can do is you can go to onchainsummer.xyz slash base. This is a website put out by the base team and you can mint a commemorative NFT. I don't know if this will be worth anything, but you never know. Perhaps it will someday. So I'm going to select MetaMask to connect. And now I'm going to mint this NFT with 0.000777 ETH. Let's mint it. Again, we'll have to confirm the transaction. You can see that on base, this isn't free, but 58 cents is still relatively cheap. And this is going to mint our NFT. And look, I did it in that quickly. I can share it on Twitter or rather X if I want to share it on X. Uh, and then this will be open from August 9th to August 31st. 
Some other fun things that you can do if you want to explore the network. There's this layer3.xyz quest that the base team came out with. And this is interesting because you have some basic quests like bridging to base mainnet, mint the base, base day one NFT. And then every day it looks like they're coming out with a new on-chain summer quest of different things that you'll have to do to mint these NFTs. So if you want to explore the ecosystem in a guided way, this seems like a pretty cool way to do it. And they've got these for about three weeks after I'm making this video on August 9th. Again, I'm making this on the day that BASE officially launched. Some other cool things in their ecosystem, if you go to base.org slash ecosystem, they've got a huge list of people that are building on BASE, just massive lists. And these include pretty much anything you can imagine in crypto. They've got bridges, they've got DAOs, they've got DeFi, gaming, infrastructure, NFTs, on-ramps, social, and wallets. So this could be a great place to start to explore who's actually building on here. These people can't guarantee all of these will do well, but these are legit enough to get listed on the official base website. And maybe some of these are interesting projects that you want to check out. If you want to get into projects that are maybe built by smaller teams or that, or that are conceived more recently, then I would recommend going over to DeFi Llama. DeFi Llama is a site for tracking the stats of different decentralized finance protocols. And you can go to DeFiLlama.com slash chain slash base. And here you can see the total amount of money that's been deposited in DeFi protocols on base. And there was a spike on July 30th when people bridged using the unofficial bridge that collapsed after a rug pull. And then it's since recovered and surpassed its original amount. And if we look down here, we can see that there's already been over 30 protocols that have launched ranging from $0 to almost $22 million. And most of these are decentralized exchanges. Most of these are DEXs. And I'm not going to go into too many of these specific ones. You, of course, have your mainstays of any chain like SushiSwap and Uniswap. But I'm not going to go into specific ones. However, I will say this. The winning DEX on any new layer two or layer one is usually one of the best returning assets on that chain. If you get into DEXs that were early on Arbitrum that ended up becoming the go-to DEX, even for a short period of time, those returned incredible multiples. Trader Joe on Avalanche in 2021 returned incredible multiples. Spooky Swap on Phantom in 2021 returned incredible multiples. Pancake Swap on Binance Smart Chain returned astronomical, astronomical returns. Um, so if you can find the DEX that is going to become the top one on base, it's probably going to do really well. And what I would look for is I would look for DEXs that offer unique features, whether that's a unique user interface or some sort of unique technical backend feature. I would also look for DEXs that have teams that are strong and are shipping continuously, because that's going to be a sign that they'll continue to innovate and adapt to the market. And then I'll also look for DEXs that are already seeing growth in both total value locked and in volume. DeFi Llama also tracks volume. And so we want to know which DEXs people are actually trading on on base and it's been like one day so i don't know if we have enough information to say that yet but you could start researching how these different dexes are i'm not going to go through all of them now for two reasons first is that there's a couple dozen and that's too much for one video second reason is if i go over five and one of them ends up winning some people who watch the video are going to buy the other four and i don't want to be responsible for people buying those dexes that don't return and and then blaming me. So I'm just going to tell you, do your own research using DeFi Llama. And that's everything you need to get started on base. If you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.